All right, first things first, we're gonna rinse our bucket out before we put any soap or water into it. This is often forgotten, but it's good to do anyways. And then we're gonna follow the directions on our bottle. Two gallons of water inside the bucket, one cap per gallon for O&R. So I'm putting two capfuls since there's two gallons. And then here I'm showing you how to put the correct dilution into a spray bottle if you want to pre-soak your car it's as simple as that you just take an empty spray bottle dunk it in there you have your perfect solution so you don't have to do all that math just making sure it works right here simple as that here is my high-end trader joe's bag i'm just kidding um i just labeled that bag for my wheels and tires and um as i'm going through the towels i keep uh, an eye out for any sticks or anything that could scratch the car potentially and then I have this extra grocery bag for the dirty used rags. And then we're going to get right into wheels and tires. So here's some things to remember. I'll let you pause it if you need to. So right here I'm pre-spraying the wheel and tire with the O&R. And what this is doing, it is just encapsulating the dirt. That's the cool thing about O&R is it, it works really well to lift the dirt off of the surface. And I forgot to put my gloves on, so there we go. So pre-soaking it is not absolutely necessary, but it's nice to do it if you are worried about scratches or just want to get that extra cleaning power of the O&R. I'm using a black towel for the tires and Kirkland yellow towels for the wheels. So... I always have these ready to go in that special high-end Trader Joe's bag. It is just keeps things organized and, you know, uh, if I can afford a better bag or if somebody could tell me what they do to keep their towels organized. I know a lot of people use, you know, those plastic containers and stuff like that. But all I'm doing here is I'm folding the towel every so often to find a new clean part of the towel. And... What this is doing, I'm just making sure that I'm not spreading around the dirt even more. So the microfiber is just picking up the dirt and then I'm folding the towel every so often. So it's picking up more dirt that may be on the wheel still. Does that make sense? So you don't want to just keep pushing dirt around. The thing I love so much about O&R is you can really wash your entire car very quickly with optimum no rinse it can be used on your interior it can be used on your exterior you can clean your glass your windows with it everything so this stuff is just i just really love it i'm not affiliated with them at all but here i'm drying off the towel just using a clean fresh kirkland towel not really clean um this specifically is a dirty towel that i use on the tires and i'm just gonna wipe it off until everything looks good and then that's it and we're going to be moving on to the next wheel and to save time and a headache for you i sped it up just because it's the same exact process just over and over again so i made it a little faster and anything that's edited or cut out is just unnecessary fluff so there's no tricks or anything going on i just i really want to make this video as enjoyable as possible so let me know what you do like about this video and let me know what you don't like about it and after every wheel and tire, I put my used towels into a high-end grocery bag just like that. Here I'm just moving the car back until the bottom of the tire becomes the top of the tire so I can get the part that I miss from it being on the, the ground. So it just makes it a little easier. So 
So I come back inside. I just use this one bucket. So it would be better if I use two. I just think it's a little bit more organized for me just to use this one bucket. I did rinse it out again, making sure there's no more dirt stuck in there. And I'm just putting two more capfuls and two gallons of water. And here's my rinseless wash bag. I have everything labeled. I try to keep it organized and just pre-soaking the towels right here. And here's an extra bag for the used towels to go in. And taking a look at my car, it is just, it's a mess, man. It, it keeps raining out here in Vegas for some reason. So I decided to record myself washing my car in hopes that it will help you out. Right here, I'm using Express Wax from Meguiar's. You can get it in a gallon on Amazon. It's really good stuff. It's a synthetic spray on wax. It's very easy to use, very easy to apply. I love this stuff and you don't really hear about it a lot anymore because it's kind of older, but it's a staple. Either with a rinseless wash or a two bucket wash method, I always like to start from the top down. I just have a habit of doing it that way. Then I go to the front windshield and you can also put express wax on your glass so you get your glass nice and protected so it's easier to clean the next time. And that's the funny thing about detailing. We want to make our cars look so good and so pretty. And then, you know, a day later, it gets dirty again. It's like, what the hell are we doing this for? But it's a, it's a passion, you know. I'm sure you should share the same passion if you're watching this video. And the goal is to clean it to make it easier to maintain the next time around. So... I, I just love O&R because it is so easy to use and using the express wax makes it easier to clean the next time. I, I just really love it. So here on this side of the car, I'm actually not using a pre-soak. It started getting really dark outside really fast. So I was like, oh crap, I gotta move faster. So I actually just soaked the towel and I squeezed most of the water out of the towel until it was damp. And then I just ran the towel over with my hand with very little pressure. And then I used a second Meguiar's water magnet. And that's all it takes. It's pretty easy to do. Let me know what you think. All right, moving on to towel care. Thank you for still watching if you are still watching. Now, the point I want to make with these screenshots is that microfiber towels are made of polyester and polyamide or polymate or however you say that. But they're very delicate, so you don't want to use a lot of heat on them. Very, very, very low heat. 
You don't want to use any detergent other than a free and clear, free of dyes and stuff like that. So you want to use a delicate cycle or an easy care cycle when you dry them. Now I'm going to show you right here. These are the wheels and tires used towels. These are the rinseless wash towels. I do a separate wash for both of them. The settings we're going to use, we're going to go on delicates and easy care. Now we're, as you can see, I'm using all free and clear detergent. I'm just going to set the cycle on cold water for a small load. And then for an extra tip, these mesh bags are great. My wife got me onto these. They're for extra delicate things like uh, I'm going to use it in the next clip for a drying towel. They're just an extra step of protection for a, an obsessive OCD person like me. And just if you want that extra peace of mind, you're getting most protection in your washer. Um, I just really would recommend it for like expensive drying towels, stuff like that. And then for the wheels and tires, we're just going to do the same thing. Uh, delicate cycle, free and clear. Um, free of any dyes stuff like that as you can see I put my drying towels in the mesh bag for that extra protection protection while they're washing and then my high-end bag comes back out and I reorganize everything and it's good for the next time now for the drying towels I actually let these air dry that's the safest possible way to let them dry and it just makes me feel more confident when I drive my car the next time. They're not going to be scratching up my car with anything that's left over. Thank you so much for spending your time with me again on this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you real soon in the next video. Take care.